Good morning everyone, how are you? Today we have to start with a new lesson which is lesson 22 multiplying by 10, 100 or 1000. Are you ready? Let's start! Calculate 64.9 times 10. To multiply any number by 10, we have to move the point one step to the right side. Then, to multiply a decimal number by 10, or 100 or 1000, we move the decimal point one step, two steps, or three steps to the right. Then, here we have times 10, we have one zero beside the one, then we move the point one step to the right side. It will be 649.0. Let's take another example. 2.3 times 1000. I will move the point how many steps? Excellent. Three steps to the right side. Why three steps? Because we have three zeros. Excellent. Let's move the point three steps. One, two, three. Excellent. Here we have two empty places. Then we fill them by zeros. We get 2300.0. Okay? Let's continue. And we have now 2.134 times 100. I will move the point. How many steps? Two steps. Excellent. Because we have 100. And to the right or to the left? To the right side. Excellent. Let's move it to the right side. Two steps. One, two. It will be here. Then we get 213.4. Let's take many examples about this. 64.5 times 10. We have to move the point. How many steps? One step. Excellent, because we have times 10. Then we move the point one step to the right side. It will be 645.0. Excellent. Let's continue. Another example. 8.9 times 1,000. I will move the point three steps to the right side. Let's move it three steps. One, two, three. I have two empty places. I will put two zeros. Excellent. Then I get 8,900.0. Let's continue. Another example, 2.789 times 100. I will move the point two steps to the right side. It will be 278.9. Excellent. That's it. Here we have to find the missing number. Let's take the first example. 64.5 times how many equals 645? 645 is the same as 645.0. That means we move the point one step to the right side. So, to move the point one step to the right side, we have to multiply by how many? By 10. Excellent. Let's take another example. 8.9 times how many equal 890? We move the point two steps to the right side to get 890. Then we have to multiply by how many to move the point two steps to the right side? By 100. Excellent. Let's continue. 2.789 times how many equals 2,789? We move the point one, two, three steps to the right side. That means we multiply by... 1,000. Excellent. Now, you have as the homework to complete exercises number 1 and 2, page 82. In exercise number 1, let's start with the first row. 21.4 times 10. We have to move the point one step to the right side like this. Then I get 214.0. This zero is unnecessary zero and I can cross it. Okay? The second one, 0 0.9 times 10. The same, we have to move the point one step to the right side. I get 
9.0 and this 0 also is unnecessary 0 I can cross it the last one 0 0.1 times 10 the same we have to move the point one step to the right side it will be 1.0 and this 0 is unnecessary 0 I can cross it let's solve the first one in the second row 45.2 times 100 I will move the point two steps to the right side let's move the point one two i don't have any number in the second step then i will fill it by zero excellent we get 4520.0 and this zero is unnecessary zero and the first one in the last row 2.004 times 1000 i will move the point Three steps to the right side. Let's move it. One, two, three. It will be 2004.0. And also, this zero is unnecessary zero. I can cross it. Please complete the others. In exercise number two, we have to complete. 3.5 times how many equals 35? We move the point one step. Then we have to multiply by how many? By 10. Excellent. The second one, 0 0.02 times how many equal to? We move the point two steps to the right side. That means we multiply by 100. Excellent. The last one, 4.06 times how many equal 40.6? We move the point one step to the right side excellent then we multiply by how many by 10 excellent dears please complete these two questions as a homework thank you for watching goodbye